Welcome back to Carpathian Countryside for episode 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. I need to get the northern part of this cleared forest area prepared for a seed bed so I can put grass in before I put grapevines in. I want to try and get all this done and then we'll move into May 2 to get the vines in. That's the plan. So it should be ploughing now, then I'll look at uh, liming then sowing, I think I'll just seed straight into this, I don't need to cultivate or do anything, I'll just sow straight into the plough ground, and then I'll do, I'll probably do the um, fertilising off camera.
yuck! The weather's horrible! As you've seen, up where the olive trees, olive grove is, I have now prepped and planted grass that hasn't started growing yet. I think that takes, well, a month. So, yeah, I mean, two day months. So that's not quite ready yet. I was hoping, well, I need to, get my vineyards in today because this is the last planting season, May 2, for the vineyards. So I'm going to try a couple of things. There's a whole load of grapes um, and vineyard stuff that came out a while ago. And I think I was away with Mississippi P when it came out. Um, a whole load of equipment. Um, I'm going to put the cheap grapevines in, but there's also the grape orchard by Omatana that I used on Fruiling. And I'm, I'm going to do a sort of comparison between the two, I think. I'm going to put a couple of those, maybe two or three of those, down in the main farm because they really need to be sat on the flat. And then I'm going to put the grape orchard in. I've also got another building I want to put in. And there's also a pack. Um, where's that done? It's the um, Great Production Pack by Chen Ben, which has got a whole load of buildings which then allow you to take your grapes and do more with them than just um, grape juice and raisins. There's grape must and there's grape seed, you can do grape seed oil, then there's, you can make fabric, well there's a whole load of factories, you can do fabrics with it, so you can do belts, and honestly the stuff in there is incredible. I don't know how much of that, if, well we'll see, I don't, we're not going to get that many grapes, but we'll see what we can do. Chipboard, six pallets from yesterday, which can't hold that, that's pretty good, and then I've got my, um, I think I've got 11,000 litres of sugar beet left in the sugar mill to process. So this that that will run out pretty soon. So I'm gonna get all this this sold, and then hopefully if the rain stops, um, we'll we'll get our vines in and maybe use a couple of bits of new equipment. Well, so when I say new, they've been out a while, but new to me, I haven't used them. I'm, I don't really done vineyards that much. I did some on Western Wild, did a little bit on Carmson. I mean, tiny little bit on Carmson in that really steep hill, um, and fruiting I did little grape orchards but I wasn't on fruiting very long to be fair I know a lot of people liked that I just I just couldn't there wasn't enough for me to do on it I, there, there weren't enough contract fields it just yeah to build up enough money to be able to um, get anywhere just wasn't enough which I'm, was unfortunately it's a lovely map I really liked it um, both these the wood chip um, or the chipboard and the sugar are both going to be sold here at the sell everything I can look to see what's available today on the used, on the used sale market. So let's get a wood chip sold first. Well, I've had to sell the board at a time. All right then. That's going to pay for itself really well, isn't it? That's all right, we'll take that. Bacon's off. Let's head back. See, I'll probably see you when the wall. Looking the wrong way. I'll see you when the rain stops. Hopefully, when the rain stops. I'm just trying to think. I'm pretty sure um, the grape orchard. I think that. We can just have it water, or I think that's why you can do water, seed, and manure, which also gives me something to try out up here at the animal dealer. I'm sure it said part of the update on here was that it was cheaper to buy products from the animal dealer. So we might be able to come up here and buy some manure. I might just change over one of my trailers, grab a uh, 11,000, yeah, grab a trailer load, bring some up. Um, I ended up with. I showed you yesterday, didn't I? I think in total it's going to work out just under, just over 600,000 litres of wood chips. So once that's all condensed down in the sawmill, that'll be 200,000 litres of wood chips in there, which will then convert straight over to chipboard. So 200 pallets of chipboard, we've just sold six. I made 13 grand, so the price is falling a little bit, but we'll do all right. I'm glad I did it. We're opening up that whole area now. That'll be the place I, when things get frantic, I can go there. 
it'll be the it'll be the grape the grape escape. Oh no! Did I just say that out loud? The, the, yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway. It's nearly 20 past 8, the rain has stopped. Let's crack on with grapes in their various different forms from various different sources using all different bits of equipment. So I thought, we've got this little grass area here, so I'm going to put in some grape orchards. No, grape? Yeah, sure it is. In here, probably mm, three? I think three might fit. Maybe four. I'll see what I can fit. I think they're only a grand each. So we'll do that. We'll then we'll then get some... Um, Actually, have I got a water tanker? I don't think I have, have I? I haven't had to do anything with water yet, have I? No, I'm going to have to get myself a little tanker. So, in here. So, that's three in. I think they're under greenhouses, because it technically works like a greenhouse, these ones. They place like this, and if I recall correctly from Fruling, um, you get boxes of grapes come from these. So these are in. I might do a little bit of landscape and put some grass and stuff back in because I don't know if the grass will regrow. And as far as I'm aware, where's the production bit for this? No active production. I know we've got a bit in there somewhere. Where is it? Like a greenhouse. Hang on. Where is it? It's here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So we can do grapes. Grapes with... Oh, seed. I've got seed. Solid fertiliser and with manure. I don't think I've got any solid fertiliser. We can definitely do grapes. That just requires water. And then water, seed and fertiliser. Water, seed and manure. We can do that. So I can get those going straight away. And then what we'll do is we'll whiz up um, to our olives and we'll put in some proper grape vines as well. And then, yeah, the building I was going to put in, I'm hoping it's going to fit. Um, yeah, maybe. We'll see how we get on with that. So, water tank over to the store. I need to go to the animal dealer. I'm just thinking whether or not I should have converted two of these over. I can always do it up in the vehicle shop, can't I? Um, I don't know how much manure they're going to take. I've got two. I can always dump some on the floor, I don't need all of it. So I'll see you over at the animal store, animal dealer in just a moment. We'll get the manure. We'll get those done. Why not have some grapes in the yard? I'll stop at the store, converted them both, well, converted the second one, I've already done the first one. And I'm pretty sure it's over here. Did it allow me to? Am I too far out? Oh no, there we go. What's it going to charge me for a full trailer load? Hopefully not too much. He did say the prices have been adjusted. He says. Oh, oh 549. That's alright. We can do that. We can manage that. Oh, water. That was the other thing I was going to do, wasn't I? Um, I need to sort out a water container. It's that age-old thing you have in every Let's Play. It's, you know, every farm you come to, you look and you think, oh, which one could I use, which should I use, which ones have I used before? You try and use something different, and then I inevitably end up falling back on the same ones that I've used before. You know, it's just kind of habit, really. Certain ones stand out and work well. I've, I've always said that, that one, the SMP... Three ten thousand litres for two thousand five hundred. You can't odds that. I mean that one I used on Edgewater, and the M can go up to twenty thousand litres. That can go up to two hundred thousand litres if you want it to. But ten thousand litres will probably be all right. I don't need to go beyond that. At least I don't need to at the moment. Don't want a spare wheel. Change the main colour. What should I do? Hardy. Red. I'm trying to think what colour are all my vehicles and machines and stuff. Or should I go for a yellow? Well, that stands out a bit. Or since it's water, should I go blue? It's a tough decision. <laughs> I'm going to go red. Uh, rim colour, we'll leave as it is. 
3,500. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to hook that onto these. Potentially on the back. So I'll go around and grab that. Uh, water. Have we got a water point at the farm? If not, we can put in a standpipe. I'm trying to think, I'm sure it said rivers and ponds and stuff you can. Didn't look again. Or is it a ball? Oh, it's a pin hitch, it should hook up. I'll just click. Brilliant. There's no way I was going to reverse two of those. <laughs> I'm getting better at this, aren't I? The, the trainers that I always avoid, like the plague. We're getting there. There's nothing anywhere that says you have to be professional with everything you do. <laughs> Take most of what to. I do belittle myself a lot more than I should, I think, really. I do some stuff alright. There we go. Let's head back. As per usual, warn everyone there's an idiot on the road. Disconnect to the water container. It does say that there are water courses around the map um, which are usable. The one that's nearest the farm, unfortunately, is more like um, it's not dried up, it's showing as a water course. Ooh. I'm going to need more. That's why I need animals, I need them producing it. So it's going to take. I think I might have this on the wrong side. Oh, no. we're all right. Let's have a look. What's this showing then? How much have we got now? It's going to take a little bit more. I mean, no, it's a bit all right to get us started. I just need to get the water in. I'm going to get another one of these to do the end one. Probably another couple of these actually. So, what I need to do, like I say, if not, if it doesn't work with the water source, I'll just grab them. Um, grab. I'll, I'll put in a standpipe in the yard, which I suppose will come in handy later on, but we'll try down at the water. All the places where the river is accessible, the banks are quite steep. But I just think this is more of a ditch than a river, although it is showing a river on the map. So, like I say, it's probably just easier to put, a water, to put a standpipe in, but I'll try it. Hoping I've got enough, enough oomph on this to uh, get back out of the ditch afterwards. But. Can I even get to it? Yeah, does that, does that count as a river? I don't know if it does. Let's see. No. 
well, it's not doing anything. It is showing as a water course, but not enough. Right, back to the yard. Just come back into the yard and realise we've got a water tower here, haven't we? I don't know if it's going to charge me though, but. How close do I need to get? Oh, it's charging me. Whoa, not even that. That's no good. Oh, I suppose, hang on a minute. I've just had a thought. For revenue purposes, I wonder whether or not build, I can make any money. If I look at buildings and stuff around the um, yard that we're not going to use, whether we can make a bit of money in scrap by demolishing some of the buildings. I mean, the water tower, now I know that's going to charge me. I mean, it's part of the landscape, I guess, but I don't need it. I need to put a standpipe in. I'm up at the sawmill, carpentry, my grape escape. Like I say, this is all good to go now. It's rolled as well. pH have done. We fertilised it. Nitrogen's good. So, first things first. I'm not sure how this is going to work, if it was going to work. But I've got a little spot here, which I think might be a nice position for. All will become obvious momentarily. I will show you. This, a windmill, and I thought the windmill would fit really nicely. Once the grass has grown up, I'll do a little bit of landscaping. I'll probably put a track across. Um, I suppose I could do that now from there to here. But the beauty of this one, and it fits really nicely in here as well, is we've got lighting on it as well. We go and click on it. It was 20 grand, no, 23 grand. We can do our flower. Now I've got a wheat harvest, that's what I was saying about, I've got wheat, so we can make flour, that's fine. If I get any other bits and bobs from other contracts, oats, sorghum, but we can do our oils here, including olive oil. I didn't realise we could do pig food as well, because I've got the pig food mixture at the main farm. But anyway, um, so my olives, this is a bit of a double whammy, tri triple whammy, this is a triple threat. Um... Yeah, once I get my olives off the trees, provided they work, of course, um, we can do our wheat flour through here, and I'll be able to put olive oil through here as well, from the olives. And I just thought, you know, it's just a nice rustic... I thought it fitted quite nicely. So, uh, yeah. And it's a little bit of work. Yeah, just landscaping it. I'll wait for the grass to grow, then we'll do a little bit of that. But that's in. So now we need to turn our attention to, if we go to, what do I want, production, orchards, I'm going to go for the cheap olive and grape mod, this one. So the question is, do I run them in the same orientation as these, up and across, which might work actually quite well. Now I've got to be careful here, because if I'm going to put a track in, do I leave a gap for a track well, I could do couldn't I that might, that might work quite nicely so if I start here for example and come up to about here then carry on from about there see if I can get them in a similar orientation Leave a bit of room at the other end as well. Come across, 
just wide enough so we should get things bits of equipment should work perfectly with that same there Now this is going to go over where grass was going to grow, but the good thing is if I miss any bits, the grass I put in will grow around it. So this is actually going to cost a bit more than I thought, but that's all right. Let's go there. I like this. Let's go there. Uh, oh, there. I might cover this entire hillside, you know. Go a bit further with the next one. And I'll go from the other end to that one and I'll keep it straight. There we go. And then go just a little bit further. So I'm going to spend a bit, a bit of time putting these in. Now these are going to need fertilising. I don't go right over it, can't I? Don't need to have a particular gap there. But I just thought I'd keep it separate from our olive groves to our our vineyard. Can I put some more in here? No, I'll leave that as grass, I think. <laughs> I suppose what I, mm, no, I, no, I'm happy with that. But yeah, I'm going to put a track in the middle. The grass will grow the sides. I could have put a track up this way, really, couldn't I? And come up onto the, but then it's a long way around. It makes more sense to come up off this track and then come straight across. Right, I'm going to put the rest of these in, and then it'll be the small case of uh, getting some fertilizer down. There will need to be mulch later on, but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Put another one on that end. We're in. We are in. Right up the side of there. All the way down, right way across over there. I said in the last episode, we are going to utilise the space. And we have. Now I'm just thinking, I've left myself enough room. Um, I'm probably going to do a bit of landscaping now. Probably putting a little bit of gravel to blend this a little bit. When the grass is grown, I might blend a little bit of grass with it as well. Track across there with the grass on the sides, yeah, that'll work. So what I need to do now, this won't need mulching yet, but it is going to need um, some fertiliser. Let's we'll get that on here. Uh, and I also need to look at our growth calendar. So we are grapes right down the bottom. We've just put them in. So they're going to be ready in... September, September and October. Our olives will be October. Okay, so I need to get cracking on this. Uh, the other thing as well now, I'm not sure this is going to work, again with the precision farming thing, because that's showing the whole lot. Hmm, that's curious. Because they're going to need some... They're going to need fertilising, aren't they? Like I said, this, because I haven't always run precision farming, and I don't think I've done precision farming when I've done grapes before. So it's that weird thing with the olives and the grapes. I've got ground down already that's already a crop. These have gone on top, but the fertilising and the liming I did for this crop, the grass, this is not showing over the top of it. 
I'm saying they're growing. But what I need to do now, like I said, there's a whole load of stuff that's available. Um, and it's... Where are we? So we've got the Vineyard Pack Crossplay. So there's a whole load of bits and bobs here. Look, we've got a toe behind harvester rather than spending out a lot of money or leasing a, an expensive or doesn't matter whichever way you want to go about it but we've got oh, is, that, is it a caffini oh, there's another one isn't there there's this the set the zephyr so i might grab that spray it optimize product mixture on the vegetation increase the production of the fields and recovers the excess product so it does not disperse into the environment so we can put our liquid fertilizer down with that so i'm going to lease one of those i've got liquid fertilizer so i'll grab oh now have i got a small enough tractor <gasps> i'm going to need a vineyard tractor oh i haven't checked on the vehicles for please tell me there's a really cheap one <laughs> no um i wonder then under small tractors because I'm sure there's some in this pack as well in here. So I dream it. Vineyard pack, there we go. I think the standard ones though. 39,500 for the Rex, is that all it is? I mean, we should read it at some point, yeah, isn't it? At some point, purchase one if we're going to do more work. But I could lease one just for the time being, couldn't I? How much is that to lease? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll lease it. I think I've spent enough money today. Right, let's go down, grab the sprayer, grab that. That's good to go whenever we're ready. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Do I need to take the lorry back down? Don't need to move any wood chips over just yet. Because that seems to be chugging away quite nicely. Oh, I'll take a nice slow walk back, I think. Or a jog. I can't wait to use this. I <laughs> just need to put some liquid fertiliser in. I've got some stored in here, so I might as well grab it out of here first. Uh, lime, liquid fertiliser, 1,500 litre times two. Cool, so... This takes 2,000 litres, is it? I'm not sure if I need to open the cover on it. I'm assuming there is a cover on it. Oops. Open cover. Open cover. Ah, there we go. I was just pressing the wrong... I thought I was pressing that one. I'll leave that open, actually. It's going to help, isn't it? So, this is articulated as well. When I was coming on the main road, I got a bit of a wobble on at one point. <laughs> bit of a high-speed wobble. Not what you want. But I think... Uh, just look at the, the way this opens. I don't know whether or not... Uh, should close the cover, really. It is saying deactivate automatic application rate, so I'll, I'll leave it on automatic. I'm going to need that. Um, whether or not this opens and closes... I mean, as in, it will open and close automatically, but whether I can manually adjust it. So I suppose there's always that risk if you haven't put your vines the right distance apart. I oh, will see when we get out of there, once we open it up. Nice. Nice. Got the, uh, the Jawa's favourite tractor. The Landini. How's our wheat doing? The weeds are dealt with. Oh, that was something I was going to say. 
remember I said when I was doing the baling, I went around and baled all around the edge of the field, and I said I had 19 bales. So I took 19 bales out of my storage and sold them, and then put the 19 silage bales that I'd made that were fermenting into my storage. I only found 18. I couldn't find the 19th bale. I went through all my numbers. I couldn't for the life of me find anything. When I was driving in the rain this morning in the Deutzfahr, when I picked up the wood chip um, or the chipboard, and then I drove down towards the sugar mill to pick up the sugar, I went through the forest over towards the west of the map where I'm heading towards now and headed that way. When I went across past field 17, <laughs> there's a bale sat in the field at field 17. Now I thought when you finished the contract they disappeared. But yeah, there's a, an orange wrapped bale sat over in field 17, so I might have to uncut that at some point. Hey, these things happen. This, oh, this is weird. I, why am I so excited? I've done grapes before, but this just feels special. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, let's see what this does then. So, if we open this up, how wide does that go? Whoa, okay, that's pretty wide. Dude, right. So, if I go down the middle, will that go either side of that? No problem. Okay, it will. But do I need to... Can I... Whoa, what happened there? Okay, so I can adjust manually. I do, oh, I can do both sides, okay. So we've got raised front loader tool. So it's that one and that one. I don't know if I should just leave it open to its fullest extent. So I don't think I'm straight now, right. So I just turn this on, do I? Um, lift spray. Lower sprayer puts that down. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's just Karen spraying. Hmm. So that's two done. How tight will that turn? Not tight enough. I don't think I've left myself enough space between my rows here. Another thing as well I need to check is will that make a difference on my mapping? Go down to that. I don't think it's doing anything. I'm I'm very confused. I don't know whether I need to spray. I'm not sure I need to spray now. But it doesn't seem to be. And it's not doing anything. If I go up to that one, it won't show me anything on here. It says they're growing. So where do I find out? See, right soil type. That's just picking up from the grass work I did. I thought, like this did with the olives, if I sprayed over, it would um, it would register. It doesn't seem to be. Hmm. It's actually quite wide, isn't it? I don't know if you're supposed to fold it up when you turn, then go back again. Have I left myself enough turning room? I'm not sure. I, it, I mean, it did take some. I just don't know whether it's the right amount. Turn it on. Does it need time to get through, or does it only work when I go forward? So it only seems to be registering certain... say is it because there's nothing showing on the vines am I supposed to wait it's all very complicated 
No, it's still spraying. Oh, stop spraying. I just don't know. Oh, hang on. Right. I'm just looking over now. Nitrogen liquid fertilizer application. It's saying crop does not require additional fertilizer. Really? Why would it not require any bit? Is it even registering? Yeah, it is, because once I come off of there, it's showing this as being grass on silty clay. But then once I turn and head over the top of the other stuff, no values detected. It'll say grass and silty clay, increasing nitrogen level, top to more value. If I go onto this, Crop does not require additional fertilizer. Is it possible? Is it possible? I'm just putting it out there. Is it possible that in putting down my liquid fertilizer for the grass, that I've now put the grapes over the top, and because they're sitting on grass, is the fertiliser I put down for the grass the exact required amount that's needed for grapes? Maybe? So I drive forward now, I'm just going to see if it changes at all and gives me any information. Nothing seems to be changing, does it? Oh, that's underwhelming. That does not require additional fertiliser. Oh. Bought this cool equipment and everything and thought it'd be amazing. Hey ho. Well, I guess what I can do then, do a bit of landscaping. It'll just be a case of waiting for everything to grow. And going from there, I guess. Yeah, not showing anything, is it? Hmm, okay. Right, what we'll do then. Let's jump in here. Sorry, I, I feel very deflated now. I was really excited about that. I thought, that's really cool, it's going to work, and then nothing's showing, and, and that's probably why. I did the work already. So, those John's advice when I did this, was I should have grassed first. So I grassed first on this one, and then that changed everything anyway. <laughs> it's all so complicated. I just want to have a lie down. <laughs> uh, right, what are we doing? Let's go across to landscaping, painting. I think I might go with, what did I use? I think I used that mossy grass for that. It's almost like a cobbledy kind of cobbledygook whether or not I could just yeah I'll continue that one that'll work wouldn't it it looks kind of vineyardy so I carry that all the way along grass will grow up on the side of it which is all very nice get that to there and then what we can do with this is just spread this around here as well and then what I can do is once the grass starts to grow I'll then do some decorative work with the grass around it just to tidy it all up a little bit but it gives me a little bit of work in room. Oh, forgot about the... Uh... That's actually quite steep though, isn't it? Oh, that's alright. She'll be reet. Yeah, this will fit in quite nicely. It's a bit of extra money, but... Well, it's good. 
take that at a bit of an angle that way. And then from here, and the grass can go up between. Okay, a little bit that way. A little bit that way. Covering our eventualities. So I don't know if I need a little bit more space around that, maybe. But time will tell when we start bringing more gear around, I suppose. But let's go around a little bit wider, just in case. That'll do. We can always put some bushes and bits and bobs in if we want to at some point. This has changed so much. When you think we first came up here, this was all just trees. All just trees. And we've put more stuff back in again, so we haven't just left it. We haven't cut it all down, just put a, you know, a crop in it or just grass the whole lot. We have put more stuff back in, which I think is important. So, yeah, not what to do now. Just thinking, have we got any other, it's already any other contracts, a couple of bailing contracts to do, but other than that, I'm going to say it again, it's going to end up being a 35-40 minute video, isn't it? <laughs> With that, we've come to the end of this episode. This will be a shorter episode. Will it really? Yeah, that's, I'm disappointed. <laughs> disappointed is not a strong enough word. I'm gutted. I'm gutted I didn't get to use that properly. I mean, it works incredibly well. Um, and as I said, that's part of... Um, so it was. It's a vineyard pack, isn't it? Uh, vineyard pack crossplay. Uh, everything should be written in the description. Uh, there's a great production pack. I haven't used any of that yet. That's got a whole load of building and stuff. That's once we've got grapes. And if we've got any money at that point, we might want to do something a bit different with our grapes. And then we've got the grape orchards that I've got down in the yards by Matana. So we'll see what happens. Those, those like open gardens and stuff, will start producing grapes immediately. Whereas these will need to grow like any other crop does. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we'll go from there. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>